All right, so did you ever get the dreaded, uh, you know, disc, you know, not mounted correctly or whatever when you reboot your Mac or something like that and you're like, oh crap, well, the hard drive is like missing an action. So here I have this four gigabyte C drive, uh, Seagate drive and I got that. So let's see, it's grayed out disc one. So you say, well, how do I get this back, All right? So here's what I do. I go into disk utility and I click on this drive. And then I say, you know, do a verify disk. It says it needs to be repaired. All right, so when this thing stops, it takes a couple seconds, I click on repair disk. Okay, so it stopped that. Now, here's the deal. If you see like these three lines, it's not gonna repair the disk. So what I found is that you have to keep on hitting repair disk until you see something come up with like like six or seven lines and hopefully it'll happen in the first you know a few times sometimes you gotta do it like six or seven times so this will say trying to update this and then you'll see it'll just it'll kind of stop uh, and it won't be able to actually fix the drive so probably gonna fast forward a lot of this but I just wanted to show you what happens normally and then you never know when it's going to happen but if you hit it maybe the second time the third time sometimes the first time the tenth time i don't know you'll see six or seven lines instead of these three and then it actually it'll go for a little longer and um, fix the drive okay so you can see disk utility can't repair the disk you know, restore your backup files. All right, awesome. So I'm basically just gonna hit repair disk again. And again, I get these three lines. So it's gonna go through the motions of doing that again. I'm gonna get this error message again. So you just gotta sit tight. All right, so you can see, uh, stop repairing the drive, you get that same error message. So. I'm basically just going to keep trying this until I get those multiple lines. All right, again, the three lines. So I'll fast forward this. I believe the error message when you first like boot up is uh, disk was not ejected properly or something like that. I'm not really sure why this happens, but it's always a good idea to keep a backup of all your drives. So unfortunately, I have like a backup drive, then another backup drive. So. You know, if this like you know was a dead drive, you'd be able to kind of back it up from a different drive, but we'll see. All right, so I get the same error message. Can't repair the disk. This utility stopped. I'm going to try it again. Okay, same thing. So that's four times now. Doing this, just probably want to sit back, you know, grab a cold beer and just, you know, keep going until this thing fixes itself. It's kind of frustrating, but it's just, I guess, one of the things with these uh, external hard drives that, you know, happens. It seems to happen a lot more on the Mac than when I had a PC, so I'm not really sure if that means anything. Okay, so again, it stopped repairing the disk. Get the same error message. So let's try number five. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. So you need, see how it says repairing the files, this and the other thing. So you see there's like six lines. This will take a little longer, but this will fix the drive. So you can see sometimes you gotta do it like four or five times. I think I've done it as much as seven times. It's just you got to be patient and just wait, you know. I fast forwarded the waiting, but it probably takes about, you know, four or five minutes between each time it tries. So let's just give this a few minutes and make sure the drive is working. It should, should be fixed after this. Okay, so after all that is done, you see this green message that says the volume disk appears to be okay. 
that means that it's back online and everything's okay. So if you get that uh, drive not ejected properly and you know, you're like, oh, nuts, what do I do? Just go to disk utility, click on the drive. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. This drive here that I repaired, when it first got that message, it didn't even appear in disk utility. So you want to unplug the USB, plug it back in, and then it'll show up like grayed out like it was before. And then you go through the steps. I think you first got to verify the disk, then click repair disk until you get to, you know, like you'll hit repair disk. I'll just show you real quick. So when you hit repair, di or you, you verify the disk, it gives you that error. Then you repair the disk, and it gives you these three lines and get the error. And then again, three lines, three lines, three lines. Then you get this six lines. So the six lines or whatever it is can happen, um, you know, on the first try, it could happen on the sixth try, the tenth try. You just keep hitting repair disk and waiting. You get the error message, it stops. And then once you see that six lines, it takes a little longer and then it repairs the disk. So hopefully this, you know, helps you out if you get this error message. And um, if you have any questions, you know, throw it in the comments. If you like these tips, you know, hit subscribe. Otherwise, um, you know, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.